today on an all-new Steve Harvey. Asking for a raise isn't easy to do. I kind of got scared, and I didn't ask her. If you don't ask, you definitely won't get it. How to get the promotion you deserve. This is right. what you don't do at the interview. Oh. <laughs> I'm here to help. <laughs> you and I will get through this together. Well, to help Sarah get that promotion is my buddy. He's the author of Bulletproof Your Job. Please welcome Stephen Viscusi. Thank you, Steve. Hey, Stephen, buddy, how you doing? Uh, what's going on with Sarah here that you see? Well, it's one of the hardest things to ask for is a raise or promotion. It's, it's very scary. It's very intimidating. But after 10 years, you're entitled to a raise. You just need to get up the gumption, get in the mindset, and feel encouraged that you should be able to approach your boss. Yeah. What should she do before speaking to her boss, though? Well, the first thing that's the most important thing to do is put in writing in an email to your boss that you want to speak specifically about getting a raise. This is not a time to surprise your boss. Don't do it at the last minute. Set a specific date and time and then plan for that meeting. But here's the piece de resistance, so to speak, of my advice, the key, the secret. When you go in to ask for a raise or promotion, bring a current copy of your resume. Yes, your current resume. Most bosses don't know what we do every day. They don't even know what you're doing. Your boss, <laughs> current boss, may not have even hired you. And guess what? When you have that resume ready, it sends a subliminal message, a secret message. Gee, this candidate, this person's ready to walk. They have their resume ready. That's the takeaway tip today from this. Wow. Now, she has a resume. She's sitting in there with her boss. You know, what should she do? It's important to mention some milestones, some things you've accomplished in the job, specific tasks that you've done, working 10 years, maybe doing more than one job. A lot of people have been downsized. Don't be intimidated by this recession word that people use today. It's over statistically. <laughs> Just be honest about the good tasks that you've been completing. More than nine to five job. You love your work and you like your boss. Just be nice, be relaxed. But when you have that resume in your lap, they're gonna be thinking, oh my God, someone else is gonna look at this person if I don't. And 10 years is a long time. Yeah. Sometimes the boss, if they know you're coming in for a raise, you know, it's a moment for them too. You know, telling you, no, get out of here, we don't have it, that's not pleasant for them. And sometimes it causes them to start looking around, hey, where's the money that I can give her since she's gonna ask for a raise? Cause hey, she is a good employee. Let me find something, she's not asked for a raise in 10 years. They start finding the money. So when you get there, they're gonna make you spill your guts, mm -hmm. you know, cause they're the boss. And then when they do, you gotta sit there and tell them why you're worth it, why you're coming in here, what the company means to you. Think you could do that? Yes. So we're gonna be doing a little role playing exercise. Sarah is going to ask for a promotion in front of all of us right now. I've set up an area to look just like a boss's office. So, Sarah, you ready to practice? Yes. I'm gonna give you this. Okay. That looks like it belongs to you. Yes. It has a new resume in it. All right. That Stephen updated for you. Okay. So, you ready? Yes. All right, let's get started. Well, folks, say hello to Sarah's boss, Melina. <laughs> this is Sarah's boss in real life. <laughs> uh, a little surprise, Sarah? Yeah. Wasn't expecting yeah. her? No. <laughs> well, instead of doing a practice round, we're diving into the real thing. So, Sarah, give Melina a firm handshake Okay. That's what I want you to do. All right. And, uh, and show her your new resume. All right. And then we're going to take it step by step. You've given her the resume. Give her a minute to peruse it. Look through it really nice. Very sharp. <laughs> She's looking at it. That's impressive. She has to signal that you'll walk. <laughs> yeah. Tell Melina uh, your situation at work. Well, I've been the benefits coordinator for the last 10 years. I deal with 1,500 employees and approximately 650 retirees. And as you know, I've taken on additional responsibilities. 
and I just feel like it's time that I get the raise I deserve. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, but we'll, uh, <laughs> will, will you be promoting Sarah? Um, she's done great. I, I do believe in her. I think that she deserves it. She's worked hard. I can always count on her to do a good job. So, yeah, I definitely think that she deserves a promotion. <laughs> and... And uh, as soon as we get back, I'll be talking to the mayor straight away. Thank you. To get you that promotion. I, I do want to get it. Wow.